All right, next up in PixTeller here, we're going to add some animation to some things that we've been doing. Um, so here, let's do the, the fast forward here. I, I, just, I still don't want this to be super complicated. It's the last week and we don't need a lot of complication on the last week. So let's try and keep this simple. Let's not make things too hard. Uh, here's what I've got. A little fast forward with you. I just made a new document. I changed the background color. I put some text items on here. It just says change the world as you can see. All right. So that's what I'd like for you to do. Build something that has three text items and then let's go animate those. Here's how. I'm going to come over here to the top right hand side and click the button that says animate and the screen changes. I'm in a different kind of editor now and if you'll look down below down the bottom half of the screen you'll see there's a timeline and uh, so what we're going to do is kind of play with the properties of these text items as time goes by. We'll change you could change a lot of different things. Change the position of the text um, you know whatever whatever you want really over here on the left hand side on the very left hand side you'll see these these are kind of like layers it says text 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 there's little buttons over here with an eyeball and a lock and you can lock a layer or you can turn a layer on or off just make it visible or invisible and that's one way you can tell which layer is which it doesn't say change the world over here but if you click those eyeballs you can turn a layer on or off and you can see which one is which all right, so I'm going to start by doing this. These little boxes on the timeline are in this program. They're what is called instances. It's an instance. So I'm going to take this. This there's the default length of this video is two seconds. I'm going to make it a little longer. So I'm going to take the last this two seconds. This box that's at two seconds, and I'm just going to move it out to five. You wouldn't have to do five. You could do six or seven or eight, but let's not make them real long. Because uh, when you the longer you make it, the more complicated it gets, and the 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 bigger the downloads wind up being. And so let's not make them real long today. So so far, all I've done is change the length of this video. There's a play button over here on the left hand side, and if I hit play, nothing happens. All right, that, <laughs> nothing at all happens. Okay, so that's what we're going to change here. We're going to make something happen. So what I am going to do here, um, and this is where you can get a little bit creative. These, like I said, these boxes here are called instances. And this first text item that I have is the word change. I might move that over, move that first box over to the one second mark, which means the word change doesn't even show up until uh, one second into the movie. It's not there. And then it pops on at one second. All right. Well, let's let's I'm going to hit pause here and let's let's try this. We could even just make a if I take this first instance for the word the and scoot it over. Right? And drop it maybe at 2 seconds. And then I'll take this first instance. The, when I say instance, it's this little rectangle, right? And I'll scoot it over. I don't think I want those quite that far apart. So I'm going to drop that at about 1.5 seconds. And I'll drop that at like 2 seconds. You see what I'm doing there. I'm just changing th this empty space here at the beginning. shows that it's not going to show up, not going to show up, not going to show up. Boom! At 1 second, the word change is going to show up. And then the word the is going to show up. And then the word world is going to show up. So if I come back here to the very beginning and I play that, change the world. Hey, <laughs> that's animation, right? I mean, <coughs> it's not fancy, but it's animation. Okay, well now let's try something else here. I'm going to pause that. And here at this first instance of the word change, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to move it to a different spot. It doesn't have to start right there, right? So what if I move it over here? Now let me play that. Let me go back to the beginning and play that and watch what's going to happen. See, now the word change is sliding on. You see it sliding on? Now the others aren't doing that yet because I, I, didn't, I didn't tell them to. But the, world, the word change is kind of sliding on here. All right, cool. I'm going to hit that pause button over on the left-hand side. 
And then what I'll pr what I think I'll do here is let's say right here, this one at 1.5 seconds. This is the word the. Maybe I'll take that one and, and set it off the side. I'm just going to scoot it over to the right. I, and, you know, if you're working on your Chromebook, I really think this is a little easier if you have a mouse connected. And then let's go to the two-second mark here on the timeline. Two seconds. Here's the word world. And I'm going to move it off. So I'm just scooting these off to the right so they're kind of off the stage, right? They're out of view at the beginning. And so now not only do we have them not there at the beginning, but they're going to come sliding on. Let's go back to the beginning, and I'm going to hit play. And they come sliding on from the left-hand side. Cool. Now this in this little preview, they're looping over and over when it gets to five seconds. Um, uh, they it just starts over again, right? And look, I, I made a little animation. Cool. And you could try other things. Um, I, and I'm about to wrap this this video up, but you can, for example, let's say that I want to go on the word change. I'm going to go to about three seconds right there, and I'm going to add instance. Over here on the left-hand side, there's a, a little button that says add instance. So it puts in another one of those blocks. Maybe I'll do that for all of them. Add instance. Add instance. Okay. Now, I, I can, <laughs> once you add an instance, you can do all kinds of stuff. You know, I could say, well, okay, so here, what if I took that word change and maybe lowered its opacity? Um... You know what? I don't think I want to do that, but I could. I could lower the opacity if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, what if I wanted to change this color? My goodness, let's try that. Let's try changing the color of the word at that instance. And then maybe on, i uh, got to click OK there. Sorry. Oops. Um, click OK. And then I'm going to select for the word the. I'll click. I, I did that add, add instance, and I've got a little box there, and I'll say, mm, let's make that turn blue. And I'll click OK. And then I'll pick another box here. And this is for the word world. It was black. Let's change its color to not green because we'll go purple. All right. So at these instances right here, there should be a, there should be a color change. Let's see what this looks like. Watch this. Oh, I got to click OK. Sorry. Go back, get my purple back there. Click OK. Forgot to click OK. All right. Back to the beginning. Let's play this. Notice that they're coming in, they're kind of changing colors, and then at the end they're back to black. But there's a color change that's going on during the movie there. Look at that. So it, this is this is a matter of you can use that add instance button to add those little boxes, those little rectangles anywhere you want them on the timeline. And once you have them on there, you can change all kinds of things. About you can I, you can change its position, you can change its color, you could change its opacity. There's a button up at the top for rotation. You can change the rotation of it. And I am not going to be picky about what you make. You guys know that, don't you? I'd like for you to try and make maybe about a five-second animation uh, where something happens with some text. Right, I've got it kind of sliding in from the side, and it does a little color change as it slides in. And so, hey, there we go. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. And then what I would do to finish this up, I would come up here, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to change the title of it. Text animation. I'll just call it text animation. I'll go ahead and hit save just to save that title. And now to turn this in, here's what you're going to have to do. Over on the top right-hand side, there's a Render and Save button. So you're going to have to click that, Render and Save. And this part, depending, it depends on your Wi-Fi and what machine you're using, but it takes a little bit of time. Now mine's going pretty quick. These are only five seconds, you know, it's only five seconds long. So it's not going to take a super long time, but it might take longer than what mine's going to if you're using your Chromebook or you got some slow Wi-Fi or whatever. But mine is 
finishing up right now. And I want to show you the last step of this. All right, so once it has been, it, it has to do this render thing. Once it's been rendered, it says in the middle here, animation has been rendered and saved. What to do now? Do you want to keep editing? Do you want to go back and edit some more? Or are you ready to download it? If you want to turn it in, you got to download it. All right, so if you click download, it's going to give you a preview button here. All right, it gives you a little kind of bigger view of the thing. All right, and then it's kind of like what we did last week. You just scroll down. There's a download button right down here. Here we go. I'm going to click download there. You could do an MP4, and MP4 is fine. There's also you could do GIF, um, but MP4 is okay. I'm just going to download the MP4. That's a little movie file is what it is. And so that's, that is now downloaded. And I could go to Google Classroom and turn it in. Remember, if you're on your Chromebook and you download, it should download to your Google Drive. And you can turn it in from there. All right, give it a, give it a ride. Let's see how we do. Fist bump.